Since five students and staff at Fort Madison High School were grieving today. The high school principal shares how emotional support is available for students at such a difficult time. And WGEM's Rebecca Duffy is live at Fort Madison High School and she joins us with more. Rebecca. Mackenzie High School Principal Greg Smith told me he's experienced loss in the school district before, but never like this day at Fort Madison High School as students and staff grieve the loss of a 15 year old student who police say was shot and killed last night by another student. Principal Greg Smith says he spoke with the victim just yesterday. I was I was able to talk to him just yesterday afternoon on his way out of the building. Uh, told him how great a job he was doing in class. He just had really turned a corner and was doing great. Smith says this feels like losing a family member. You feel like it's a family. Um, everybody knows everybody. We know your parents. We know your grandparents. Uh, we sit side by side at ball games. We we see each other at high V. So it, it's it's a loss to our family. Fort Madison High School is offering counseling to students to try to get them the emotional support that they need. Some students are very upset. School psychologist with the Great Prairie Area Education Agency Kelly Warner says they brought in additional counselors so students can share their feelings or better understand their grief. Some students just have a lot of questions about grief in general and this is something that a lot of them haven't had to face um, or shouldn't have to face. Warner adds that it's important to talk about yesterday's shooting not only at school but also at home. All of our children are different. We all process things differently, and I really think it's important just to be a good listener. Now, the high school has also been requiring a social emotional learning class this school year where students can talk about their stresses and emotions among their classmates. Live in Fort Madison, Rebecca Duffy, WGEM News. All right. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And Smith says the high school plans to keep additional counselors there for the next few weeks.